Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. Here we are at ATS video time. I am excited. Uh, you guys make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell, get notified here on the next ATS content. But I'm FTG Full Tilt Gaming and thanks for joining us today. Uh, we're going to be looking at a brand new ATS SES blog teaser slash probably more so of a 30% announcement. So this is really cool. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a video on this. It's a little bit late. I know there's already been some info and people have probably shared it around and stuff, but uh, I figured I would use this opportunity as well to connect with the ATS community um, and tell you guys that we are making an official return to ATS here on the channel, probably sprinkling some ETS as well because I've actually got all my mods squared away on that. Uh, so I want to do some more help videos and some more uh, get you started into especially looking for mods and installing mods and figuring out how to, uh, you know, how to troubleshoot some things, but just really quickly as a little bit of a channel update. Um, you know, there a couple of months ago, we did have a bunch of uh, uh, toxicity in the community, and finally, we feel like we've pretty much gotten rid of all that. Most of uh, most of the ones we had problems with left, and then we got rid of the other ones that just needed to go. Um, so we did a little bit of a clean house and a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a cleanup. So. Uh, with that being said, it just needed to happen. I needed a break from this because I, I got I, I, I lost the joy of the game and enjoying it for what it was and, and also for the community for what it was. So if you were a part of that community or if you're looking for uh, a place, it's, I'd love to be with a you know YouTuber that's doing content, that wants to do some multiplayer, that you know I, I can maybe meet some people to have some friends with to do some convoys and stuff. Hit the Discord link in the description. Come on back. You know, respect us. We'll respect you. Um, and we'll, I'm just going to approach the whole entire thing this time going from a different angle. Uh, I'm just going to do it totally different this time. So anyway, that's all for me on that. Uh, it's uh, it's just one of those things that had to happen. So we're going to get a fresh start where I can get back enjoying the sim for what it was. Enjoy some of these new trucks and the, some of the new content stuff that's coming out from SES. And that's what we're here to talk about today. ATS, as you can see the title of this is yesterday was ATS teasing. So pretty much a 30% announcement, pretty much this, pretty much that. So anyway, Oregon was our last DLC. So if you're catching up, we're in 1.33 now as the time of this video is made. So you can kind of keep up as uh, things move along here in ATS world, uh, especially if this video finds you later on. So we're talking about what is just now newly teased. Uh, and newly kind of released some screenshots now of a new work in progress DLC for uh, ATS. So we're going over here to our browser. Uh, so you can see here they've got all this thing basically wanting everyone to guess away, but they've got a newest map straight away DLC. Uh, no work, no, um, uh, not work in progress, sorry. Uh, no, no date yet uh, as to release on this. So I have no idea on that, but this is just what we're preparing in 2019. They're probably going to let... Um, you know, Oregon fizzle out some. I would look for maybe a spring release of this. Um, you know, I wouldn't say summer, but I would say definitely before summer because what they're going to try to do is get, I would imagine, get this DLC out as a lot of people are getting out of school. Younger folks are getting out of school and having the summers and stuff away. Um, or maybe just as, you know, we get out of the funk of winter, you know, we're actually getting back into the spring, some warmer temps. You know, people are like, yeah, I feel like jumping in the truck and driving, and then that's what they'll do. So anyway. Here's some screenshots here. Go ahead and move through some of these. Uh, as I said, this is work in progress, so they don't really give too many, um, you know, huge functionality things away, except you do get a quite a bit of terrain. Um, you get to see the resources, which everyone said this is Washington. I didn't say that, but their new area is Washington State. Uh, that's what everyone keeps going to in the comments. It looks like Oregon, so if you're familiar with Oregon, you bought the DLC, a lot of the resources still look the same. Um, so you can see there is some flatlands in here. Um, you know, Oregon does have some rolling hills. Washington's uh, closer towards Idaho uh, on their eastern side is a good bit flatter than their mountainous side, which is, uh, I believe, uh, Mount Rainier, which I think is all right there up near, kind of close to the Seattle area. So their northwest areas all the way down to the Cascade Mountains in Oregon are all pretty mountainous. Uh, really a bunch of rolling hills and rolling mountains up and down. Nothing too huge you know we're not talking about the grand tetons or nothing but um anyway so we got some other stuff you can see here some of their uh, really pretty uh, resources that they always use in their maps pretty bridges kind of these really nice graphic um you know uh, escapes the graphic escapes um and then here we go you got some of the more dirt lo uh, dirt logging roads here and this was a new uh, resource if you're not really catching up if you don't really know oregon they brought in uh, sawmills logging 
uh, from different places so you can just be a logger if you want to do that so now you can kind of see they've still got the same thing with the SES uh, on the log trailer 389 default um, and then the other thing that I kind of thought was interesting about the pictures it looks like they've brought in uh, ferry connections I'm not sure where the ferry connections are going to go if they're just going to um, connect you to other port cities along the way to make for fast travel a little bit easier you know they do have some of these um, especially when they moved into the Scandinavia uh, area and they still had London it still had Ireland if you're pro mods fan with ETS they still have ferry connections in that game uh, but you also have a lot more bodies of water so I'm interested to see what they jump off of here because ferry connections really can open you up to a lot of new areas uh, in the ATS world we could be talking uh, you know, we could be talking the potential for a, a possible perceived future updates for Alaska or Hawaii or something like that. But then again, they could be building in this inside the game uh, and building this as a resource that other modders are going to be able to use that uh, in conjunction with ATS because now it's going to be a part of the default game, the default code. So now modders will be able to take that and use it as a part of their maps, extensions, um, and, you know, et cetera, et cetera, which is what's always good about these people say well it's cares it's washington it's the same as oregon yeah but they always add new resources that modders can get a hold of and use as long as they're not charging as long as they're giving back freely uh they can use those same resources to um, build their own maps and that's a viva mexico is a popular one with me i love that map um you got a great rapport with the guys over there that have done that map and we're gonna be actually on the channel here looking at the brand new area that's not even like massively released yet you have to donate to get it uh, but it's a whole new brand new area of chihuahua mexico and a whole new mexican extreme map all of that crazy stuff is all brand spanking new so we're going to start doing that on the channel but the reason i say that is because those guys um <clears throat> they have uh, taken a lot of the resources out of new mexico out of oregon and been able to implant those inside of their mexican map so that gives you sawmills all the businesses all of those styles of things plus their own custom creations uh, to be able to really populate their map with a lot of really cool resources uh, from SES. So that's why it's always good to see BAP DLCs come out because SES always does a good job of coming up with some new things for the new, uh, you know, whether it's the new economies or any of that. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was a lot of info. I just kind of threw it all at you at one time. Uh, we had a little bit of uh, Oregon gameplay. So if you had not seen Oregon, you saw me driving around there a little bit uh, in the beginning there through Oregon. So... I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a little short and sweet, quick video here with ATS, but uh, we are going to also be breaking back into live streams and videos, like I said before. So you guys, make sure you stick around uh, and let us get back into ATS. We'll sprinkle in some ATS. We will be continuing to do farm sim as well, so we're not stopping anything. Uh, I'm really going to work hard on, on getting a rotational schedule together for you guys. So that way you guys feel like you know what's coming up. Because um, I want this channel to be a channel on the move again. Uh, I miss that. I miss the community. I miss guys coming in and out saying hey uh, and enjoying the sim for what it was. I'm just, I apologize to those, to those out there that enjoyed it. And uh, we let a few uh, bad apples ruin uh, the community for us. So, that's my apology to the community that was, uh, but I'd like to really get that back and, uh, and get things back up to where they were. Uh, so anyway, I hope you guys will. Uh, I hope you guys will do that with me. And anyway, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Keep up with it here. We're going to have a lot more coming at you here from FTG Full Tilt Gaming. But that's it from me. As I always say here at my sounds, guys, we'll see you here in the next video. See you.